gentlemen, it is match day. The quarter final of the AFC Asian Cup 2023 being played in 2024 is finally here. The Socceroos Australia taking on South Korea in today's match at the Al Janoub Stadium. I'm on my way there now. It's the most southern stadium in Qatar. And today is going to be an absolutely massive test. Here outside the Al Janoub Stadium, just 20 minutes till kickoff now, and Australia tonight against one of their biggest foes, their biggest rivals in Asia, South Korea. In the past, the matches between these two sides have been pretty much 50 50, split down the middle in terms of the amount of wins for, for each nation. And of course, Australia having the biggest victory of them all between the two countries, the 2015 AFC Asian Cup final. Thanks. biggest advantages that the Socceroos are going to have in this game today is the fact that they're playing back here in the Al Janoub Stadium. It may be an effort to get to, but this is the, the home of where Australia played all three of their World Cup Qatar 2022 matches, taking on France here, Tunisia and then Denmark and walking away with six points from those games, including actually going ahead against the French, the world champions at the time. They played here once more since against Uzbekistan. So really, this is gonna feel like a home away from home for the Socceroos. And that is gonna be absolutely massive for them. pre-match predictions for you today because simply getting down to the, the Al Janoub was a nightmare but you can have mine and I think the extra two days break that the Socceroos have had plus playing in this stadium yet again for a fifth time is going to be enough to see us through. I'm going Socceroos to win it late on 2-1. Just before that, you saw Conor Metcalf uh, skidding one wide. Starting to grow into this, and it's only the 20th minute. I just saw a replay of the horror follow-up to that, where he just blazed it wide. Offside. 
I think he's been given off time. Great goal, but oh, oh no, this could be embarrassing for me because it's being checked successfully disallowed. Thank god, I'm not sure where the offside was in that, but it, it was well worked from South Korea down the left hand side across and right in front of Matt Ryan in a, an easy finish. from distance in this game than I think I've seen Australia do collectively maybe in their last 10 but a, a couple of them have actually gone on target and probably been um, the best chance of the match first cross that we've actually put in but uh, to get that it justified him being brought back into the side for that finishing ability very similar to the goal he scored against Indonesia the other day if anything exactly the same but it's half time here and Australia couldn't be in a better position 1-0 up thanks to a Cray Goodwin volley and going into the second half South Korea are only going to get more tired more exhausted after playing that game against Saudi Arabia just two days ago that went all the way to penalty kicks. That lactic acid build up in their legs will start to wear them down and I think with Australia's defensive fortitude, especially in this tournament, it's their best defensive display ever at an Asian Cup. That could really come into play. It's looking good at the moment, I will say that. Here with NASA from Mauritania. You'll be going for South Korea behind me, annoying me the whole game. No, you're not. Tell me, what are you thinking of the match so far? Like Australia are 1 0 up, but South Korea had that goal disallowed. Actually, I was shocked when the, the goal, they decided it is uh, uh, offside. It is a good match. Every team is playing, good uh, passes, good shooting, but uh, Australia now. Uh, the second half, final score, what do you think it's going to be? I think 1-1 one, one and they will go for Extra penalties. Time. Okay. Extra time after penalties. Alright, and then who do you think? Korea, because they did well in the Saudi Arabia okay. match. You saw the goal. I did, I did, I did. He's good, he's good, he's good. Young Jin and Young Shin from Korea. Not good. And second half, Korea, they're going to come back, they're going to score. We will win. Uh, I hope normal time, but it's okay in penalty. You will take either way, yeah, yeah. And Young Shin? Yes, I have no idea. You have no idea? Okay. Wow! You're a Man United fan, really, so. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, actually, I'm not a fan. My I think that attack says it all. Australia in no desire to, to run any risks trying to get that second goal. As soon as Martin Boyle broke away there, he waited for the rest of the team, held it up, and Australia just looking to, to really keep possession and draw the clock down on this game. Australia going to lose. 
it won't be for lack of chances. Three times, three times. They could regret that. They could end up regretting that. <laughs> Australia really under pressure now. The last 10 minutes has just been parked in our half. Very like for like with the substitutions there. Just refreshing the midfield for Arnold and hopefully that means we can um, keep chasing the ball as well as we are because we'll be doing a lot of that in the last 20 minutes. That looked like an incredible save. He's having an absolutely solid game. Been a couple of times crosses have come just underneath the crossbar or uh, South Korea are putting a good ball from the corner. And he's come out and claimed it amongst some towering people. And he's just come out for that one-on-one, -on -one, got clobbered in the fucking head. Obviously, uh, maybe milking it to drain down the, the clock, but... I've got a feeling Miss Ju could have a hundred chances today and not put one in. It's just not been his number. It's another open goal. And if South Korea score, oh my God, is he going to have nightmares for life? Additional time, seven minutes. That's what you're getting from South Korea. A lot of switching, a lot of passing in and around the box, but no shot on the end of anything. Coming down our end, we are parked in our half, but I don't think they look like scoring. Korea won, South Korea won, 
We're going to extra time. A last minute penalty. Finland seem being brought down in the box. They really didn't look like getting the goal. They, they had all the ball, but no real chances. And then, yeah, a, a real devastating equaliser for Australia. And they're going to need to change their game plan now. They cannot sit back like they have been, trying to absorb the pressure uh, for extra time. They've got to start playing again. And it's whether they've still got those players on the pitch. There it was another penalty, but it's uh, on the edge of the box. A free kick from shooting range. Looks like Son's standing over this one, and I wouldn't be surprised if he does try and bend it towards goal. Looking at that back on the replay, you have to wonder if... I know Matt Ryan's had a fantastic game, but it was pretty central in the goal, and whether that's on the wall or, or on him, disappointing to, con to concede that. Australia are in big trouble now. They, they look like the team that played two days ago. They look like the team with the tired legs, and perhaps they are. They're the ones who've been chasing the ball for most of this match, all of the second half. There's going to be a two minutes of injury time, and then another 15. They haven't created anything maybe since the 60th minute. Australia's problems look like they could be about to mount even further. A red card in this game and it will be completely over. And I, I think it will be O'Neill. get ahead in that bus queue because uh, it's going to be a, a long ride back to the city and I think that'll be it. Second half of extra time underway. No activity off the bench for the Socceroos. They do have that extra sub now. The way that first half of extra time went, didn't create any chances and now down to 10 men. It couldn't have gone worse. We've seen from this game so far, South Korea's passing and keeping possession is arguably their biggest strength. If anything, it's been a hindrance to them, um, almost costing them the matches where they're not actually making chances, but they're just keeping the ball. But now, down to 10, winning 2-1, it's going to benefit them massively to just move the ball around in a way that they seem to be better than anyone else at the tournament at. counting on right now we need the strikers to do something marvelous not him just one minute of time added on here
That's it. It's over. Australia's ASC Asian Cup comes to an end. South Korea 2, Australia 1. And two sloppy challenges are the reason we're not in the semi-final because there is no doubt that we, we would have, have made it through that game the way it was panning out, the way we were playing and uh, the lack of actual in-game free play chances that South Korea created. Your boy, Hyun Min Son, he turned it around for you guys. And you're going to play Jordan in the semi-final. For a semi-final, it's a relatively good team to play. Are you confident? Yeah. We have seen lots of... There's only one player left uh, on the field now. It's... So, so I'm waiting around just to see this reaction when he does come past the, the Korean fans. Because yeah. uh, yeah, to say it's their version of David Beckham, it's their version of Cristiano Ronaldo. That's it, Australia's campaign at the AFC Asian Cup is over and it's hard to not feel pretty devastated by the way that all went down. Really, the tactics, the game plan, they, they worked. It kept Korea at bay, kept Son at bay, all until the 97th minute when Son picked up the ball in a messy-like run, made his way into the area, was brought down by a sloppy challenge, almost inviting it, going nowhere until that point. And that penalty, of course, was converted. And then in extra time, Socceroos were, were up against it still. They'd become accustomed to sitting back in the second half and they failed to transition back out of that frame of mind. Before long, Son had buried a free kick in and Socceroos were down to 10 men. So that's it now. Out. Tournament's over. The next major tournament for the Socceroos all the way in 2026 in America. And South Korea go on to play Jordan in the semi-final. So they'll, they'll have one foot in the final now. One eye on the, the big prize. Badge for the Socceroos. It's over.